you good. catapulted it from y'all being together first. Mm -hmm. Y'all were together first. Y'all did what y'all did, and then y'all were able to. Well, see, it's, 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 it's... we always been together because we always been family. We always, you know, kind of just. We always been together, but if you look at it, just look at all our tape. Just look at when Griselda probably start popping like 20. 14, 2015, yeah, like 2015. It always been wax albums. Hitler with Iron Man is one through two, part one, part two, part three. Reject one, reject two, reject three. My tapes, Benny tapes. Uh -uh. Mm. We never really had a, it wasn't like we was putting out Zelda tapes and shit like that. Right. So we always, if he would just really look at it, like that's how we always done it. Like Benny right. would do his thing. You know what I'm saying? You know, he was doing it with Spash and doing it with Shay and doing like everybody was always doing their own thing. It just looked on the outside, on the surface, like, oh, he was out of the same They ain't throwing at each other, like, kind of doing drum work now and then he's doing BSF and kind of always been like that. You know what I'm saying? Right. Mm -hmm. Now, Benny let us know, and we've seen um, a couple of situations with Jay Z kind of moonlighting. I have another shout out to Keela. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got you. I'm sorry for the fans at home watching this. Sometimes yeah. Conway yeah. like to have a Pressure. little, you know what I mean? No, nah, don't stop it. No, we ain't stop it. Don't let me interrupt. We I just like to sometimes, you know what I mean? Got to hydrate. Ooh. That's good right That's good. there. <laughs> <laughs> I got to hydrate. You, right. you know what I mean? Like, right. yeah. They ask you some great questions, and I'm noticing that I'm like, Overwording the questions, the answers. I'm just like, <laughs> it's starting to it's teeter in the lines of babbling. <laughs> so, like, let me just have another drink and relax. I'm it sorry. Back to the question, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> now, now, we've seen Jay kind of like in the realms of, you know, showing up to your shows, um, you know, basically giving the, the stamp, the co sign. Yeah. Benny shared with us that he wanted you guys to stay together. Is that something he shared with you too? Who was that? Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I really don't like uh, talking about you know Person what, what hoes say in you know, interviews and shit like that. But right. you know what I mean, like. I'm gonna just keep it about like, yeah, he definitely, of course, like one of us, like, nah. I mean, because we, we we hadn't split, but so it wasn't like, yeah, yeah, I want y'all to stay together. But he just emphasized that, like, man, that shit, what y'all doing, same thing y'all said, what y'all were just saying, like, yeah. man, what y'all did and how y'all did it, man, we ain't really seen nothing like this in, 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 in decades, bro, if ever. So it was like, man, y'all, man, I'm fuck with what y'all doing type shit like that, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't like, he had no, it wasn't like that with me, like, nah. Cause it wasn't nothing there. It just looked like it on the surface. Mm -hmm. Nothing fans just ran <laughs> with certain dickhead shit I didn't say and did in interviews and, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? With certain fan theories that just led to the assumption that, you know, nah, them boys is, the boys is fighting and at odds, you know what I'm saying? Right. Mm -hmm. You take responsibility for that perception? Yeah, you just did. I definitely did. <laughs> no, I'm saying, like, the majority. A hundred percent, you know, to make that clear, a hundred percent, because I, honestly, I operated out of my feelings, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I operated out of my feelings, man. And, you know, my brother ain't deserve that shit, man. Wes ain't deserve that, but I didn't you know that shit I was doing, saying in them interviews, man, and, you know, I want to just be very clear, like, you know, nobody owes me a penny, like, nobody stole nothing from me, Wes and me, nobody, Shady uh, Records, nobody, like, all my business was on an up and up. And when I was even saying in the um, Breakfast Club interview how I didn't read the contract and all that shit, it was really just coming, it wasn't coming from a place where I was like, you know, idiocy, like, I, I ain't know no better, man. He took advantage, like, took advantage of me. Like, nah, I just, it was out of loyalty. I ain't reading that shit. That's my brother. Right. I ain't got to read nothing. Mm -hmm. I know we good. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. that's what that was. But 
I, that interview came out when I did it, and I was feeling stuff, and you know, I acted off my feelings, and that shit just spread like hot fire, and just created the the theory of like, yo, them niggas ain't damn we. But that, like I was saying, goes to us just being our own bosses and doing our own shit. But niggas seeing us, we ain't at like shows together. We're not doing music together. Right. But that part of it, like I was just saying, if you look at it, we never really did focus our tapes on that. Like everybody, Benny was doing his albums. I'm doing my albums. Wes doing Hitler one through ten. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, you know that's how we we kept it, but. It was always like all our albums, like Hitler wears Hermes is our album because we all over the fucking album anyway. It's like right. it's like Iron Man with right. Raekwon all over the Capital We yeah. model all our shit off the plan, right. nigga. Right. Give it a buck, I nigga. see that, yeah. Ghost and Ray, nigga. Everything I do, nigga, them my big homies. Everything yeah. we do, like, nigga, like, yeah, that shit was ill, how it was Ray album, nigga, but nigga, Ghost was on the cover with the Wileys oh, and God, shit. Yeah. Well, you know what I'm saying? All, on all the songs, songs Ray might not even have been on. Nigga, it was just ghosts on there, Dolo. Like that's really how West seen it, and how we how we how we seen it, and how we just catered that shit and tailored that shit. But you know what I'm saying that, that makes it the art piece, right? You know right. what I'm saying? That makes it the, that makes it that Mona Lisa. And at that time, nobody even questioned Wu Tang. Yeah, about that. See what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, nobody yeah. ever questioned Wu Tang. Like, yeah. well, why is it was like, doing it album? It was like you just yeah. kept getting Wu Tang out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Right. Right. It just said they got separate deals. But really, we only got two, three Wu Tang albums. Right. Right. Everybody was just their own entity doing their own thing. At least how I see it on the outside looking in. But if people don't know you following that game plan, yeah. they're going to come up with their own assumptions. Right. You know what Which saying? is what's and, happening. And it don't help me getting drunk and getting the interviews. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Leading it to leading lead to it. the conclusions, of right? That. So you know, you you are really you. I'm, I'm, we're really seeing you in real time. Get used to this new life you have. Like that's yeah. that's really happening. Like right in front of us, you adjusting yeah. to this new. You haven't really grasped how popular you are. You say something, and everybody's literally paying attention. Yeah. And they're picking apart your statements. They're picking apart your mannerisms. Right. They're picking apart your absence. They're yeah. picking apart your silence. Yeah. They're picking apart your talk. Like, and it, you're really adjusting to this. You're it's not. Power in that too. You're not. But he's. You're not used to how this goes yet. Right. Right. Hundred percent. I'm definitely. I, I, I definitely. I'm still not used to it, man. And. and the old me didn't want to. Like, I just wanted to be me. I was just stuck in my ways and just like, man, I don't give a fuck, nigga. I'm me. I'm Conway the Machine. Fuck them. I don't want to do no interviews. I ain't doing nothing. <laughs> but play my shit or you don't. I don't give a fuck. Fuck them DJ niggas. Fuck everybody. Like, that was just, to me, I felt like a negative space that, you know, I ain't really probably need to be in. And then I just wanted to try a different approach. Like, you know what, man? I'm getting older now. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's starting to be more clear to me the love I get from, you know, mm. my music and my my impact. And, you know, I just always still be looking at it like I'm a nigga still walking around with like five or six raps folded up in my back pocket. And shit, you know what I'm saying? Mm, like right. I still don't. And I still be doing like regular shit, and, you know, and because it don't really hit me. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, you really, yo, bro, people love you out here. Like, when I go overseas and do shows and, and just see the, the reception, it's just, you're right, bro, just hearing you say that. You know what I'm saying? You're right, man. It's like, I don't know, because I'm just a recluse, man. I'm just, I be, like, just dolo to myself, man. I don't right. really, I don't really like to be, I think that came from getting shot. You know what I'm saying? I can't, mm. I got shot in an environment where, you know, it was just a lot of people, you know, it's the club, I'm leaving the club, I'm going to the club. So I'm, I'm looking at clubs shit like, I don't go out, man, I don't want to do that. I ain't going to that part. I ain't going to that event. I don't want to do that. And, uh, what time the interview is? 10.30? Nah, I'm good, bro. I'm chilling. I'm already inside. Like, I be thinking about that because I got shot in my helmet 
leaving the club, just going to promote my CD. You know what I'm saying? Just going out of mixtape. I'm just going to fuck with the DJs and doing some music shit. I right. my CDs out, fuck with the DJ. I'm in my hometown and shit. And, you know, I get followed. Get followed back, you know, as I'm going to drop drop the homies. Up. I wasn't even supposed to be driving. I just was drunk, bagged a bitch in the club, and you know what I mean. I had to get my shit off. Like, nah, I'm driving. <laughs> Hop in the front, babe. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I wasn't right. supposed to be driving, and I just followed this one shit, and you know, I got that's when what happened to me happened to me, and so now I just it, it made me develop a kind of like, man, I, I ain't going out. I don't go. So I don't, even to this day, like I don't do like I don't take walk through bags at the club or none of that shit. It just from that is like This hot for trap trapper turn smack rapper. Only smack rapper that you know is smack rappers. Got bars I can hang with the backpackers. Trap star, I don't hang with the backpackers. I'm in the hood with the work you heard. Making fiends leave earth, you heard. Got your baby mama thirst, you heard. Feel the flow, nigga, throw it in reverse. This the way you need to surf, you heard.